Okay, so game plan is we're gonna try to hasten, make haste like the Jews, to uh, go through the first six chapters of the Rambam um, and uh, in Hilfus Hamid Mata to get to seven and eight, and then we're gonna dwell on seven and eight um, like the Jews dwelled in the Midbar. Um, and uh, I was thinking of, uh, of a Rambami way to say that goal. So here's the Rambami way to say the goal is at the end, oops, yeah, at the end of the Minyan Mitzvahs and the Mishnah Torah, which you don't need to look at, he says, after he lists all the mitzvahs, Elohim shishme os uchlosh esrei mitzvot shenemer lo Moshe b'Sinai. So these are the six hundred thirty mitzvahs that were said to Moshe at Sinai. Hain them v'klalo sehen uprato sehen v'dikdu kehen. Right. So they and their they and their general categories or their like principles and their particulars and their subtleties. Okay. V'chol ozen haklalos v'apratos v'hadikdukim habiurin shall kol mitzvah mitzvah he torch while pet shekibul beitin mipi beitin and all of those. General principles, particulars, and subtleties, and explanations of each and every mitzvah. That's the Torah pad that Beitin received from Beitin. So, what we're going to aim to do, we did Hain, that in the Sefer Mitzvahs, right? The Mitzvahs. We're going to try to read all the halakhos that are the Klalim, the ones that are the Pratim that seem worth doing in terms of our subjective like interest levels, and not the Dikdukin. Okay, that's, I think, a good like. System okay, and then what I I I, uh, I printed here one through four because I think that if we get through one through four this week, then that's like a realistic pace to be at for going on. Cool. Okay, yeah. So we'll see what happens. Okay, let me just share on the screen, and we'll start off with. Okay, so we did the the Coseris already, and I don't want to read them all again. We might read them when we make when we encounter each mitzvah. Okay, so first we begin Perakrishon. Kol ha'ochel kazayis chamis pesach. See, so that's already interesting, right? Why is that interesting? Oh, because Pesach is only the first day. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's mildly interesting. <laughs> I guess let me let me reframe the question. In light uh, of the Coseris. Yeah, he's not um, starting off with what the mitzvah is. I think this is him starting off with what the mitzvah is. Anyone who eats a, an olive's worth of uh, of on Pesach from the beginning of the night of the fifteenth until the end of the uh, day of the twenty-first of Nisan, the Nazid Chayav Karis. If it is uh, intentional, then he is liable for spiritual excision according to the Rambam, which actually I wanted to talk about yesterday, but we, we can, I do want, I want to do a brief, brief recap on all the Rishon views on, on Kares, mm. uh, just, a, uh, just so we have a framework here. Shnemar says, because yeah, I have a list, it's funny because uh, someone asked me about the list yesterday and I was like, oh, I was just going to talk about that, so we got the list. Shnemar says, Ki kol okal anyone who eats chametz will be cut off. And if you do it unintentionally, meaning you didn't know it was chametz or you forgot that it was utter, um uh, then you're hired to bring a korban katas, sin offering, mm -hmm. whether, what was it? Anyone, uh, whether you, uh, one who eats or one who dissolves it and drinks, right? I think mm -hmm. mamcha is, uh, dissolved. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. Yes, he didn't start here in the same place in the Coseris. The Coseris starts off with the Isser of Eden Chametz on the oh. day of the 14th. Is that what, that's, that's what he said, right? Yes. Yeah. And here he's starting off with Isser Chametz in general. Now, certainly, I think it makes sense for us to start here. Because that's this is like the Isser Chametz. What was that? That's not what the is in the Coseris. Right. But that's how, so in other words, the question, I think, is more on the Coseris than it is here. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, this seems to be primary. And it sounds like just logically, like you got to start talking about the primary Isser Chametz first. You know, but it is interesting that he did it in a different order. And that's all, not only is it interesting, it's like, I can't right now, I didn't do a search, I can't right now think of another case in the Mishnah Torah where he does this. Hmm. Yeah. Usually he puts it, them in the order, in the Coseris, that he, the same order that he does in the Mishnah Torah itself. Hmm. So that's odd. It, it is weird that it's like, I guess you do have this sometimes, but like the fact that like the chronologically prior thing is not the logically prior. Thing. Yes, right. Right, and it de definitely seems like the Coseris is chronological order, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, so let me just get this up for one second here. So this was um, just to get the party thingy going. So this was my uh, my cheat uh, sheet. Um, if you know where to look in the Abrava now, you got a lot of cheat sheets because he came in like the end of the Rishonim, and so he summarizes everyone's cheat. So I wrote this article called "What is Karis," where I just 
basically like just relying on his summary of what all the shitas are. So just really quickly, so so there's uh, eight, I think. Sadia Gaon and, and Ibn Ezra hold that um, that Karis is premature death. Okay, that's one. Rocky holds its premature death of the, the transgressor and premature death of his or her children. Okay, if there's children. Three, Tosvos holds it is death, a kind of premature death, but death before reaching the age of 50. Okay, and one of the questions, by the way, on the Shitos that hold its premature death is then what's the difference between Karis and Misa Bide Shemayim? So Tosvos, apparently, according to the uh, Ravanel, says, Karis means you die before you get to the age of 50. Misa Bide Shemayim is before the age of 60. Huh. You know? Okay, whatever. Uh, another sheet that brought down by Tosvos is that you will, this is a very odd one, you will die from an illness on the third day of the illness. Okay. Um, yeah, very specific. That, I think that's the most specific one. The R Rambam, which is obviously what we're concerned with here, uh, holds that it is the um, excision, which is the only time in the English language we get to say the word excision when we're talking about cars, of the soul after death, uh, meaning its exclusion from Olam Haba. Okay. I think it means I think excision means cutting off, the excise. I, I think people do use the word excise. Cutting out. Cutting out. Okay. What are we? Oh yeah, yeah. Because you use it by uh, editing, like excise it from the document. I think. What is so? What is that referring to exactly here? Like cutting it out of what? Um. Like out of human existence. Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, yeah. Right, because it's really like almost a destruction more than right. a cutting off. Yeah, yeah. I guess we'll have to say that for how many years from now when we do focus true of us. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, but we can we 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 can uh, uh, one like pet topic of mine of all of the ones to face off is like you know because this is really the this is not the first time in the Torah that we encounter a car race because uh, that's really for Bris Milad, but this is the first time we encounter in the system of halachos for B'nai Israel, like in Taryag. Right. This is where B'nai Israel and Taryag encounter it. Mm -hmm. And I always want to know, like, like how in the Rambam's metaphysics can you hold that a mitzvah, like a violation of a mitzvah, mm -hmm. results in karat? Meaning if you deny an ikr, that makes sense because the Rambam holds that your chalik olam haba is really determined by your knowledge. Right. You know, but doing an action, you know, that's always a fun question to think about. So yeah. put that on the back burner. Um, he didn't hold it's like a natural thing, like it's sort of. So that's what I'm not sure about. I, I think he ha I think he has to hold it's a natural thing. No, not but, no. Yeah, uh, but I don't know. Uh, clearly, it's not natural in the sense of if if Aristotle eats coming to Pesach, then that's not the same thing as a Jew eating coming to uh -huh. Pesach. You know, so it's not natural in that sense. But it's natural in the sense that that like the mechanism is that you are doing something to your soul when you violate an Isakaris that renders it not fit to go on to Olam Haba. Mm -hmm. That's my understanding. But I, again, this is something that is like a, a pet project and I go back to it from time to time. Well, um, I think it's worth noting that you're doing Karis, you get Karis when you do it for the Mason. So there's some- Yes. And so that's gonna happen. Has to be Mason, right, yeah. yeah. Um, and the other reason why this is a pet project is I got an email from a listener to the Ron and Bacchus podcast. It wasn't, I don't think, in response to any particular thing, but he asked me, maybe I brought this up to you guys. Uh, he asked me about, the, there's a Gemara about Acher, that when he died, like, the Gemara said, like, he couldn't go into uh, Gehenom because his Talmud Torah would protect him. Then he couldn't go into Olam Haba because he was a Chote. Mm -hmm. And, like, Rebbe Meir, like, uh, like, said, like, I'm going to go, like, make sure that he doesn't, uh, like, you know, some, uh, I forgot the details of the Gemara, um, something, something fate about Acher, and then like smoke rose from his grave. Then Rabbi Yochanan was like, I'm gonna go escort him to Olam Haba. Mm -hmm. And he did that. And so uh, the question I was asked was, what would the Ramam say about that Gemara? Um, because seemingly according to the Ramam, you can't really affect someone else's scale in Olam Haba. Mm -hmm. um, and also if Acher really was what we say he was, like he was a real, Kofer Baker in like the most extreme, or Kofer in the most extreme way. Like he was not doing it out of some emotional thing. Like he was like Bishita. So then it would seem like the Ramam would hold that he can't get Olam Haba. So yeah. that's not directly related to the Karis issue, but I've just been yeah. thinking about it lately. That is interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I just, bought, I just got a book that arrived right a couple hours ago that apparently has a chapter on it. So by one of the rubs, tell me to him. So I'm going to look into that and see. So maybe that'll get, get, that'll get me an interest in Karis again. That's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. No, the way you're explaining it, it sounded like they were just 
arguing about whether he got into a remarkable. Well, the, uh, the, there's a whole thing with the smoke from the grave, though, uh, that like was like a sign oh, yeah. that like his status changed. Mm. Yeah, mm. but that is a good approach, though. I mean, again, we 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 we're not bound, obviously, to you know we don't know what out of that we can take allegorically, but yeah. Okay, six is the Ramban, uh, which is the most complicated. Okay, Philosophers is the most specific, Ramban is the most complicated. So if I get this right, and again, I'm relying on the uh, Abravanel summary, my understanding of Abravanel summary, is that there's three levels of Karis. Okay, if you're the Fuyos outweigh your Avonos, then you get physical Karis in the form of premature death, but then your soul will go to Gan Eden and Olam Haba and uh, and, and all that good stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's equal to the side you and Ibn Ezra. That's what they hold Karis always is. Ramban holds it if you're Zuchuyos, outweigh your Avonos. If your Avonos outweigh your Zuchuyos, so then you get a Ram Maimonidean Karis. Okay, mm -hmm. you get your soul cut off from Olam Haba and, in Gan Eden and Mushia. Okay, uh -huh. and then the most severe form of Karis is if you worship a Vodazara or do Makhari um, of if you commit blasphemy, so then you die prematurely in this world and you get cut off from Olam Haba. Wow. Yeah, double whammy. So there's three three levels, and then the Abravanel holds that Karis affects the sinner in Olam Hazeh and Olam Haba. In Olam Hazeh, his life is cut short, and Olam Haba, and this is the thing I don't know, his soul is quote distanced from the radiance of the Shechina, which is the source of spiritual pleasure and reward, and that there are degrees of Karis. It's not like an all or nothing thing like the Ramam. Yeah. All right. So that was a quick. Yeah. Isn't that every available distance is himself from the Shina? Uh, yes, but not not premature death. And I also don't know if it's distance in the same way. Like I don't know if in his world distance is the same as like there could be different levels of closeness. Uh -huh. But I don't know if distance is like some sort of like the gum in the pleasure. I, I don't know what it is. Yeah. So those are those are the only she does that we're showing that I'm aware of. But that's only because I'm cheating by using the problem now. Okay. Anyway. I know that wasn't strictly speaking Ramam of Kiyos, but I, I, I know why I want to show it, because it is important to realize that the Ramam's view of Karis is unique, mm -hmm. uh, that he is the only one who says it's strictly Olam Haba, um, and everyone else has some other element of like death or something involved, and also others have degrees, not all of them, but some have degrees. Ram is just like an all or nothing thing, and that's what people don't like about the Ramam of Shita, is that you're telling me that a, you know, that like, <laughs> you know, that all that happens to Hitler, like he just doesn't get Olam Haba. Right. That's not so bad, you know? Um, and, and that's a, a problem people have. Or people also have the problem of like, you're telling me that like someone who does a Vodazar, Gilu Ras, and Shvichu, or I guess not a Vodazar, Gilu Ras, and Shvichu, Damim, Bemezid is equal to someone who like makes a mistake about Yuchad Hashem. Hmm. You know, people don't like that, you know? So, yeah. Okay. Uh, onward. Yeah, all right. Uh, so Chometz on Pesach is prohibited in deriving uh, in, uh, enjoyment or pleasure. Shinamar, as it says, Chometz may not be eaten, as opposed to saying you may not eat Chometz. So you may not eat Chometz will be etra achila. Lo ye alpha Chometz, he says, is lo ye he bo hetra achila. It should not have in it a license to eat. Okay. And so he's this is part of the Doraisa. Bahamaniya Chometz Pirashusa Bapesach. Okay, this is another weird thing. One who leaves Chametz in his property on Pesach, or his possession, sorry, even though he did not um, eat it, over Bishnei Lavin, he transgresses two uh, negative commandments. Shnei as it says, uh, uh, leaven may not be seen for you in all of your uh, boundaries. Vinemar, and it is stated, Sor may not be um, found in your house. The prohibition of chametz and the prohibition of the leaven that is in it that makes it ferment is one. So is that also out of order? Okay. Yes, well, right? He still hasn't mentioned the 14th, right? What was it? <laughs> yeah, he still hasn't mentioned the 14th and he has not done a uh, uh, lahash piece. <laughs> And Shlolo mm Chomitz, -hmm. is what he started with. Parovitz Chomitz, he hasn't done. So it's like totally out of order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I would have thought the Parovitz Chomitz would come before his body or like Matze. Yeah. His body, like, if he had said, um, Echad um, Chomitz Gamer, Echad Parovitz Chomitz. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. yeah. Well, Parovitz also, is that, that was Malkus, 
Tarot was his Malthus, yeah. So maybe that's the favorite people. Are you starting with all the cards? You're not fine. Fine. Oh, you're not. Yeah, yeah. So you cards is Eafilas, Hamid, and then Valyra going on to his Malchus. And now he's going to go, well, now he's going to define the parameters of the Malchus. And then Itra Hana is also, uh, he, it's like he, didn't, he didn't say what you get for this or Hana, right? Itra Hila, you get Karis, but Itra Hana, he doesn't say. Yeah. Also, just weird that you'll miss that. <laughs> uh, I believe we don't hold that for Itra Hana. Well, that's the thing is that it is it it is um the same love, but I'm I'm right. I'm pretty sure that you don't get uh Paris for being a uh, yeah. I mean, maybe we'll find out that I'm wrong, but yeah. You look at the um side note. Yeah, on which Allah. Um, that's a bit of an Yeah, kfi from our rabbi, a kol makom shenemar b'torah lo sochal lo sochlu lo yochlu. Yeah, fine. So uh, anytime it says those phrases, then it's usher in both unless the Torah specifies. Hmm. Right. Like, uh, right. It sounds like it's close. Okay, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not, but we'll see. Um, okay. Eno loke mishim lo yirayv lo yimate ela imkein kana chamit ba pesach o chimtso. Yeah, so this is interesting because in the Sefer Mythos, oh, I'll translate first. You don't. You only get malchus over uh, on lo yirai and lo yimate if you acquired chametz on Pesach or if you fermented it kedeshi asimase in a way that you did in action. And I think I, I I asked, or I, I yeah I think I asked when we read it yesterday. He only mentioned there if you acquired on Pesach. He didn't say if you make it on Pesach. So now he's clarifying if you make it on Pesach. Um, aval im haya lo chametz kodem Pesach, but if he had chametz before Pesach. Uvaha Pesach lo biaro, and then Pesach arrived, and he did not destroy it. Ella, which is funny because he's mentioning beer like, you know, just as an aside, he hasn't introduced the topic of beer comics yet. Ella he nihu beer shuso, but rather he left it in his possession. Avo pish avro shnei lavin, even though he does violate the two los aseis, ino lokem in the Torah, he doesn't get malchus from the Torah. We make lo automatic because he didn't do an action. Umaki no samachas martyrs, but we do give him rabbinic sprites for rebellion. Yeah. Um, and I think it might be one of the uh huh, that's interesting. And then you mentioned him as a lot of people. Yeah, say it one more time. Say it one more time. On the, the issue of the Hana, or, or the, or you're asking. Uh, I'm saying that right in the first time I said, uh, oh, Tafisu, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we got to see what the order he presents everything in before we could really come up with a coherent theory. Yeah. Yeah, but that's that's a uh, we'll note that observation. How many should cover a lot of yeah? I didn't know you get Mark Smartus for a Lava. Derisa. Oh, for a de uh, no, Mark Smartus is not for a Derisa. Oh, you mean the, no? I I don't think you can. Well, no, if you're, you're violating Derisa, right. you're getting Mark Smartus on it. I mean, it's it's Robana imposed. There, you were right, right. Yeah, I was about to say it's not yeah. Robana imposed. Yeah, I didn't, I always thought that it was when like. All the time I've seen that been when you violated their and they gave you. Oh, interesting. I thought because I, I had almost the reverse, uh, not the reverse exactly, but like I, I feel like there are tons of cases where it's like on a derisa level because of a technicality, then you you can't get Malkus derisa and and then they impose the Malkus Mardus in that in its place. Didn't we have that I in? Was it? I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, no, no, it's definitely both. But I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we had that earlier. Yeah. No, we did have Marcus and Marcus, but I thought it was because you were other, like you weren't, sorry, it wasn't Asher Derisa. Didn't we have cases in Shem Hashem where, yeah. uh, where it was part, where, yeah, you were putter. But it was Asher. But it was, yeah, but, you, but I guess I was going to say that that's a Derivanon. Yeah, here Putter's it's. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you weren't, right, I thought it wasn't Asher. Uh-huh. But 
maybe yeah, I'm not I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I, I might I might be remembering from other places in the wrong. Okay, Pamich over a lava petzaf also by nylon. See now we're talking about after Pesach, <laughs> right? And we're going back to the Itzer Hana'a. I mean, I guess we haven't left Itzer Hana'a yet, but um, yeah, whatever. Pamich that that uh, that uh, remained over through uh, Pesach. It's prohibited in deriving benefit from forever. But that is a rabbinic penalty, right? Since he transgressed, um, you shall not see or find have chametz found on chametz found or seen or found on Shabbos. Not Shabbos, on Pesach, they prohibited it. Even if he left it unintentionally or or uh, you know accidentally or through coercion. So that people don't leave chametz in their possession until so that they can benefit from it after Pesach. So the Rebbeinu wanted to stop people from, you know, by storing up chametz, hmm. keeping it over Pesach, and then eating it afterwards. So weird, because like it's more us are on Pesach. You would think they would care about that. They nah. It's like well, <laughs> oh, I'm not getting your question. It's like it's it's. Funny that like someone who doesn't care about Pesach would then care about the Sirvan. Oh right, yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah, from a from you're a. Not a what? You're not in the talk. I don't get involved. Yeah, it is. That's an interesting psychological question. It's a psycho legal question. Yeah. I do see it possibly being true, which is weird. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah, so, I mean, there's something in, yeah, something in Knossos like that in general, I feel like that's a question that Knossos are often subject to. But uh, I, I hear what you're saying now. Yeah, something about the lingering effect of it. He's saying it's weird that like the someone who, let's say someone doesn't care about the Doraisa, so why are they going to care about this Knoss? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, next. I guess people are going by the by the stuff. Right. Yeah. I mean, the social stigma aspect of it. Yeah. That could be. Yeah. Okay. Tarot comments now. Oh, here we go. We're going to get to our question after this. But comments needs are the davar acher, but pesach bein b'mino bein shalom b'mino. Comments that is mixed with something uh, uh, else on pesach, whether it's of the same type or whether it's not of the same type. Or is it oser b'kolshu? So then it prohibits with any amount, right? So that's the not non bitterness of uh, of coming to pesach. And but it's with more hummus. What? Amino means with more hummus. Uh, no, I think it means with its species. Not every, let's say, for example, you have like wheat flour that is hummus and wheat flour that's not hummus, uh, you know? I don't think the question before. You were saying oh, it kind of makes sense to have like a, have it in chronological order. Mm -hmm. um, but like, if you present, like, that thing, if that thing be, it's sort of hummus itself, then like one star was from between there. Like it should it's seems to be a separate so it should be after Bali Rabbi Masai. Uh isn't it after Bali Rabbi and Bali Mate? In the Kasaris. Oh the Kasaris, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. It's not like there's it's not like there's a chronological reason to put it. Right, I see. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um okay, so uh it's Osir Bakoshu, the Khamit Shali Yisrosh Avar Lava Peta. See, we're going back to that again. <laughs> uh, yeah, of a Jew that uh, that la that was kept over Pesach, even though it's prohibited to be uh, to derive enjoyment from, in this arev, if it is mixed, uh, if it's mixed, whether with its species or not, it is mutter to eat after Pesach. They only penalize and prohibited. Chametz itself, of all tarovis muteris, vachilo after pesach. The uh, mixture is 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 permissible after uh, pesach. Hmm. Yeah. Say again. Uh, I, it's a good question. Good question. I don't. It doesn't seem like it so far, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's oser b'cholshehu in terms of the isra uh, han, uh, achila and isra hana. But doesn't the implication is not that if you, uh, yeah, the implication is that you're only over on 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 gufa mm -hmm. Yeah, we okay, now we get to an answer to our question. Ain't cars el al achilas atzmo shel chametz. 
So you only eat chayev karis on eating the chametz itself. Well, about eruv chametz, uh, well, I guess this doesn't directly answer our question, but I think it does though. But a mixture of chametz kavon. Oh, we didn't look this up, or I didn't look this up. Kutach abavli b'shechar hamadi b'chol adam lehen b'dvarim shal chametz ma'orgahen. Whether it's all those dishes uh, and anything that the chametz is mixed in. Im achalan b'petach lokev in bo karis. So you get malchus and, not, and there's no karis. I mean, you can infer from there. I think. Can you infer from there that if, that you're not five cars on Hana? Uh, because couldn't you make the argument that this guy who is eating a tarova chametz is being nehane from chametz, but it's just not a uh, kashir? Or or do you, can you say that he's not being nehane from chametz? He's being nehane from a tarova chametz. It seems like right. yeah. Yeah, it seems like tarova chametz is like a totally separate category because. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd say when you're eating entire with chametz, you are eating chametz, mm-hmm. and also yeah. right. That's true. Shnei mar kol machametz as well. As it says, any leavening and uh, however we're translating this, then you you may not eat. But made of our memoriam b'shalchol kazayis chametz pesilch atarov at bekdei achilas shelosh beitim kushal of minatorah. So when do you get malchus for uh, violating the tarovus chametz? That's if you ate in the tarovus the amount uh, equivalent to a kazayis of chametz. In the time that it would take to eat three eggs. Although in ain batarovitz kazayit big day achilas shalosh beitim, but if there is not in the mixture that you ate a kazayis in big day achilas shalosh beitim, that's what we call big day achilas pras, I guess. Achal pisha after lo lechol, even though it's after for you to eat, im achal in a loke elamachas mardus. If you did eat, then you only get you don't get malchus, you just get uh, um, malchus mardus. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. we're good. Yeah. Wait. Wait here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. oh. I think we're going to the right side. If you are kosher. Yeah, you're. It's usher, but you're not high of. For, oh, right. uh, yeah. You're so. The next one. Usher lechol chametz biyom arba usher. Wait, sorry. Did I skip something? Oh, if you're a yeah Zion, right? Mm. You're only five in Karis that's the Mazid or Korban if it's Shogig, uh, if it's the measurement, which is the Kazayat. Yeah, you get what you said. More sense to the Mazid. So that's really, really the theory, you mean? Yeah. 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 I mean, unless you wanted to, yeah, I mean, unless for some reason you wanted to delay it to after the Tarovis, which is meaning I can sense dimly <laughs> uh, a conceptual order of doing all the things that deal with Hamid itself first, both the Itrachila and then Bayerai Bayimate, then going to Tarovis, and then Kolshuhu is like the, how Kolshuhu interacts with things is like a, a lesser. You know, those are like you know, Eastern on trace amounts of comments or whatever, you know, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, okay. Answer. Yeah, I was saying, I think we're going to end up doing the whole first paragraph. <laughs> yeah. Answer. Lechol chametz biyom arba. These all seem like clawing. I mean, pretty much. Answer. Lechol chametz biyom. Yeah. Is that a general thing that you found? Okay. Well, uh, is that a that you find in, um, like, that, that is first roughly, or like, general? Good question. Or is it like, uh, Often, but I don't. I don't know if I could say it as a as a claw. Yeah, it seems, it seems like a reasonable thing to happen most of the time. Yeah, like at least you know. I mean, let's say like Yisodei Torah, yes. Deus, yes. Avodah yes. Talmud Torah, yes. Uh, Shuva, <laughs> yes. If you say that the Mitzvah is Vidui, because he goes through all the columns yeah. of Vidui, you know. Um, Priyashma, yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it's it, it definitely is common enough that like it's weird when he doesn't do that, okay. you know. And let's say like he helps Shabbos also. Like he says all the calling of Shabbos, you know. Yeah, because I feel like if, if you're starting to talk about a subject, you first start with the broader picture. Yeah, right. You right. Don't dive right into like major. yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess the only exception would be if there's something that necessitates the order of the prakim to follow something that's not fundamental, you know. Uh, like for example, I don't know. <laughs> uh, right, like, uh, like let's say for example, mm, no, I don't know. Let me say yes. Yeah. I don't, in like Kyoto's 
He starts off the sukkah with like the deer and he's like, Yeah, that's true. He doesn't do the Mazen Mitzvah. Yeah. Yeah, but you could argue that that's primary though. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Rafizak had a grand theory about that once, about when he starts off. This is this is 2003. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, it was my first year. I think it was my first year in Rafizak's year. Nice. Um, he had a theory about when the Ram starts off by going over the calling and when he starts uh, with like Eitzad or like the uh, the dimensions or something like that. Uh, I'll ask and see if he remembers. <laughs> he has a very good memory. Uh, and see if he, he's still alive. All right. Um, we're on, on that's now. Yeah. It's prohibited to eat chamit on the day of the 14th uh, of uh, Nisan. Well, he didn't say with Nisan, but it's Mashman, uh, every month, uh, from uh, from midday and on, Bayam, which is from the beginning of the seventh hour. This is always confusing for people, right? The um, Hatos is six hours past. There's a trick for this. I don't remember. Oh, the sixth hour. What was it? The Hatsos is the end of the sixth hour. Hatsos is the end of the sixth hour and the beginning of the seventh hour. Right. Right. Six hours have passed. Okay. Yeah, I think oh, I think the way, the, the way maybe this came from a pizza also via Shifra or something, that like if you think of it as, as uh, pieces of pizza, uh, like as 12 pieces of pizza, and you have half of them. So then if you went more than that, you'd be starting to eat the seventh piece of pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember. <laughs> um, anyone who eats at this time is uh, against Malchus from the Torah. Shnemar says, You should not eat eat on it. Former al korban petah over the korban petah. Kach lamdu mi piashmua the favorite that was there. This is what we learned from the oral tradition in the explanation of this matter. You may not eat chametz from a time that it is. Fitting to slaughter the, the Pesach, Shu Bain Harbaim, which is in the afternoon, Buhu Khatiyayom, which is half the day. This goes back to what we did yesterday, that it's not contingent on the the performance of the Shlitas of Pesach, it's on a, the Sha'a Haruya, the Shlitas of Pesach. Yeah, but he said it clearer here than he did in the Sacred Mitzvah. The Atsru Chachamila Chachamit Mitchilas Sha'a Shifis. Okay, so you're starting your sixth piece of pizza. <laughs> um, it, the Chachamim prohibited you to eat chametz from the beginning of the sixth hour. Well, you're not starting your sixth piece of pizza. You're not starting your sixth piece because the day were proven. Yes, 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 that's true. <laughs> uh, your uh, almond flour pie. Yeah. They shall lo yigab iser Torah. So you don't touch the iser Torah or approach the iser Torah. Umitchilat sha ashishis. So from the beginning of the sixth hour, Hamid is prohibited in eating and enjoyment. Okay, oh, and, and mean the sixth hour being Midrabanan, Ushar Hayom, and the rest of the day, Mishabit Vamala Mina Torah. From the seventh hour and on is from the Torah. And then, then now there's one more layer. Yeah, we did finish the first paragraph, or going to, unless I die right now. Shah um, Oh, I saw it, by the way. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. I, uh, um, you know how people, I don't know if this was you, if you thought it growing up. This is a culture shock for me of like, I remember one day early on in my teaching career, I, I said like, let's say I get into a car accident and die on the way home. And like, there's always like, there's like a student who was, would be like freak out as if like somehow my words would like make it happen, you know? So in that Gemara about off air, Remy Mayer says, um, says when I die, hmm. and then I'm gonna be like, ha, but then they'll just say, oh, he had more clues than you do, and I can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. okay. Um, you smell something? Yes, no, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. how many molecules entered his? Yeah. Um, all right, Sha Hamifis in Oakland, Ba Hamid. So, in the, from the fifth hour. In the fifth hour, we do not eat chametz. Gezerah mishum yom hamunan. It's a gezera because of a cloudy day. Shema yitad ben chamishit v'shishis because maybe you'll err between uh, in, in discerning between the fifth and the sixth, right? So from the seventh and on is deraisa, from the sixth until the seventh is derabanan, and then because there are cloudy days, then from the fifth to the sixth they made a gezera to protect you from violating the derabanan, which is not the most common thing in the world, right? Yes. <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah, I don't know. All I know is like the um it literally is a zero there. Yeah, right. Yeah. All I know is that whenever I've looked into anything having to do with zeros and zeros, like zeros on zero, then like the the, the response I feel like I get from whatever safer I'm learning is no, no, you don't understand. This is what Xero Xero is. Like this is some exception, and like I always feel like I walk away with no, you know, rules or universal understanding. Actually, so we actually just recently did this in our class. Yeah. So I'm here. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and apparently, my book is Rocky and the Rama. Okay. On when. Ah, uh -huh. like one minute. Yeah. And I think it's either, like, I think the Rama holds, it's they can make a second Gazera if it's, if the first one, like, isn't able to stand on its own. Interesting. Like, well, that would fit here, right? Because yeah. it's like an inherent problem. Well, back then it was. Right. Well, I guess let's think a person is like, you know, it's a cloudy day. So the person is like, Oh, this is um, the start of the six hour, and therefore, or like, no, this is the thing. The thing is, the don't tell them, <laughs> right? But that would be the example of he would say that you well, could we try plugging that? He couldn't say that you can make another Gazera on the fourth hour. Right. Yeah. Um, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Um, I think the, I think the, the fifth. Because there is it, because there's no chance that you're going to make that both. big of a mistake I in terms guess. of like maybe because like the phenomenon of making a mistake still exists. Yeah. But but you're in other words, since the whole thing of the fifth hour is to prevent you from accidentally going to the sixth, there's no way you're going to need to protect the fourth hour because you might because the fifth isn't doing its job. You know, like yeah. Yeah. I know that's very loose, but yeah. yeah. I, mean, like, I, I don't exactly know how this works out, how, how to look at protection yet, but I think if the six is um, showing as like a buffer, but uh, at least to make sure that you don't accidentally go yeah. into the this is right so. mm. um, But the fifth is that sometimes the buffer is, is because sometimes the buffer is not going to necessarily be exactly accurate. Yeah. Because of the study. Right. And so therefore, this is making sure you're not. Possibly overstepping the line. Right. Yeah. So, you know, it kind of reminds me of if you have a very, you know, if you have like a, a, a tall, like a skyscraper or something. So, you have the window, which prevents you from falling out. Mm -hmm. And then they have like a bar in case you like, so you don't, like, let's say the window is weak or something like that. So, you don't accidentally like, if, you, if the only, if the window was the only thing protecting you, then you just fall out. So, you have a bar to like protect you from going there. But having a bar to prevent you from touching the bar, the other bar, that's just crazy. That's just like a, that becomes its own institution that's no longer serving. Like the wind, the, the, the bar serves the window to protect you from that. Is this making any sense? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I get, yeah. It, it's funny because that seems like the entire problem of Gazera. Gazera yeah. Like, you're, like the window should be able to stand. That the, will. So then you should not, like, have a bar to protect from the window is. Well, in this case, let's just make sure we're clear. The window I'm saying is the first Oh no, okay. So I was saying it differently. Yeah, maybe that's why it's a bad analogy. I was saying that the window is is the uh, is the door right. Okay. Well, you can't fall off the building. Oh, you I suppose that's a better analogy. Yeah. You need the yeah right yeah yeah. I Meaning if there were no window, that would be right. if it was just the door right. So yeah. Window is a protector, and then this is and then the bar is the fourth hour. Right. Yeah. What normally happens is it's like when you have a zero and a zero, it's like you have a zero and a zero, and there's not going to be a window. Okay. This is the whole whole. Oh, okay. So you have a bar to stop you from falling. Yeah. And so um, there's so normally a zero and zero like. Having a second bar would just gonna make you not fall out anymore. Uh, but here, I think it's you're adding a second bar like this, like like um, <laughs> like to like reinforce it, uh, so that it, so that you can't accidentally like knock it out. Okay, I felt that at that point it got to the point where now the analogy is more complicated in my mind than the actual <laughs> phenomenon. All right, let's let's go on. Um, so um, 
And we said that that's the in uh, Asr Benaya Bisha Chamishis, right? In the fifth hour, Lafikach Tolin Ba Truma Vlechem Toda Mekiyot Depan Mechamit Shu Kodesh. Therefore, you can take Truma and uh, Lechem Toda and other things like that, which is sanctified. Lo Ochlin Vlo Sorfin. You can't eat it because it's that's in the Shas of Hagzera and Lo Sorfin. You can't burn it. After the Giyah Shah Shishis until you get to the fifth hour, Sorfin a coal because at that point it's Asr Bahana. So it's like the third of it. Yeah. Yeah. Palamarta, now here's a summary, I think. You can, it is mutter to eat chamit on, on the 14th until the end of the fourth hour. And we don't eat in the fifth hour of our nanin, but, but we may derive benefit from it. And one who eats in the sixth hour, because that's still Durbanan. And, uh, and one who eats from the beginning of the seventh hour gets malchus because that's the Doraisa. And if you eat on Pesach, then you get Karis. I feel like this parent was, like, yeah. was like, <laughs> really, like, highlighting the distinction between Asmarus and Malchus. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. Okay, that, that took us through that. Okay, next. Uh, and this is one where we're definitely not going to do all of it, I hope. Okay, yeah, because this is, to do all of it, we'll get in, involved in nooks and crannies, which is, you know. Yeah, I mean, that is what it's going to be. That is what it's going to be about, yeah. Okay, Terek Shani. Mitzvah Tzatzei Minatora L'Hashpis Hechamit Chodem Zman Isur Achilaso. So it is a mitzvah from the Torah to um, uh, put to rest, <laughs> right? Chamit <laughs> before the time of the prohibition of its eating. As it says, on the first day you shall... I, I want to see how our school translates it, Tashbisu. It is an awkward word to translate. 12, 15. Rest defy. Right. Well, I, I think Shavas in isolation, like the, the Shoresh of Shavas, Shoresh of Shavas means to cease or rest. That's what's confusing to me. And I don't think it means destroy, because I think you need the Torah of Alpeh to tell you they have to destroy it. Yeah. Like they interpret Shavisa, uh, Hashbasa as beer. Yeah, Shabbos is not a day of destruction. <laughs> if you want to go on your phone, it is. Yeah. Um, for the seven day, oh, nullify. They say nullify. Or is that already like a loaded translation? Yeah. And that's not even the wrong one, though. That's the, uh, that was the, that's the Matlokas, right? Is, is Tashbitu Bithel or beer? Mm. Right? Isn't that the Matlokas you're counting? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It sounded wrong when I said it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, me, he. So he is definitely here, fine. What was that? Yeah, Dika's definitely Durbanan. Beer or beer. Yeah, it's beer or, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. It wasn't Oh, but we didn't check the Bahag. Yeah, yeah we gotta check the Bahag on all of these just for Case. for diversity. I was gonna say for diversity, you know? <laughs> Not everything is Ramam. <laughs> uh, okay. Some things are things that Ramam makes fun of. <laughs> um, uh, so from the. Um, we learn that Rishon, hold on a second, I'm just making like this string of texts and I have a, a tutoring thing after this. I just want to see if that's relevant. I usually don't check here, but, oh well. Yeah, okay, 10 messages. All right, no, no more of that. All right. No. <laughs> um, uh, where are we? zehu yom So we noted this yesterday that the yom harishon doesn't seem to make sense because yom harishon is it, we, we don't do tashbisu on the first day of Pesach. Right. So we learned that this is the fourteenth. Varayla deverzeh, and the proof for this is Masha uh, of Torah lo sishchat al chametz dam Uh You shall not slaughter um, over chametz the blood of my offering. Klomar lo tishchat al Pesach ve chametz kayan. Uh, don't slaughter the Pesach when the Chamit is extant. Ushchit has a Pesach, who yom arba'as are achar chatzos. And the slaughtering of the Pesach is on the day of the 14th achar chatzos. So, how do we learn from there that Rishon, how does that arise that, that, uh, that Rishon means the 14th? Oh, because it's saying that, okay, because it's saying uh, you can't check it when the Chamit is in existence, which means that by the time we get to the 14th, then Hamid should have already been destroyed. Mm -hmm. 
So that's why the refund must be the day that Kwame just, uh, uh, wait. No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, if you're, if you're, you're in you can. Right, but in other words, no, no, no. Must at this point be destroyed. Yeah, it must at this point be destroyed. Meaning by the time this monthly this pet pack rolls around, then then your comments must be gone, must be must be destroyed. And therefore, when you have the puzzle telling you to destroy it and it says it's on the first day, it's saying that that's the that's the, the that's the day that it, uh, that it has to be destroyed by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the footnote of uh, the side guy. Okay, fine. Rishon, Pirusha, Biyom, Shilikne, Shiv, Sayamim. Okay, Raila, Dabar, Ikar, Dabar, Biyashmua, Los Sishkat, Al Hamis, Dam Zivchi, Velo Yalin. Okay, that doesn't help us. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I Right. Well, by yeah, yeah, by by, yeah, by the. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, part of the part of the difficulty is he hasn't. No, 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 well, I don't know what day it is, but the only day that we have anything about comics. What? Is it the I mean, the question still is, uh, I mean, yeah, well, I think, um, so, so in, in the context of the Pasuk, it's to give us Yamim Matas Tokhil, Ach by Yom Hamisho and Tashbisi to Ormi Batechem. Right. So, so the simplest reading is you would think that it's the first of those seven days. Yes. Yeah. And, and seven days definitely start from the 15th. Yes. Right. Yes, the, the, um, it can't be the 15th because you have to already not have paid to right. yeah. So yeah. it must be the first, it must be the prior day that's according to Yeah, it still, it still doesn't sit well. Yeah. It still doesn't sit well that first of what then? Yes. It's, it's, you know, like that's the, that's the, I think the thing. Right. So I would have read the topic and thought, I'm going to be hitting the 15th then you're over. Right. So much more fun. Mm hmm. And what other fun is there? Is that the only other region? Yeah. Yeah, region. Yeah, region of what is still a troublesome question. Well, actually, it's even the last time. Is that region of that time? Second time in the public? Yeah. To me, the first day of the Uh huh. It says, um, there's seven times of the world, there's a fire in the middle of the street, because you should start with the people. Nicole, of the Right, so it's, it is using the word Rishon in two different ways in the same pot, like you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, here, yeah. yeah. Um, let's look at this. Uh, it says in the Pirish of Mishnayos, Sachin 1 4. So let's just see if that yeah. helps. The way this translates. Yom HaRishon is on the previous day. On oh, previous day? Yeah. I don't know this. It looks like we only have three of them. Uh, so. Okay. Oh. So this is in 1-4 and 2 I got Kofi. What if we have different editions? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> one is one four, right? Yeah. Yes. One four? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have the same one the edition that they do, so I assume it's on page coupe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's look at the Mishnah first. Ten two pages. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, one I'm on the wrong page. Uh, no, 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 there you go. That would explain it. Okay. Could be uh list of the Mishnah one four Rimir is that it? Yeah. Rimir Omar Ochlin full Hamish. Uh you eat for all five, I assume all five hours. Yeah. The Storfin Bitilashesh, and you burn it on the beginning of the six. This is talking about the whole Demai or uh, the uh 
Kodesh stuff, uh, or no, the song of beer in general. We'll see. Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Ochlin Kol Arba, Vatolin Kol Achamesh, Vesorfim Betchila Sheish. So you eat for all four, you suspend for five, and then you burn for the beginning of the six. Okay, I don't know if we're going to need to get into that to get our question. Let's look at Dalit. Ramam, Amar Hashem, Shiva Siyamim, Shor Lo Yimati Bobatechem. That for seven days, uh, eleven may not be found in your house. Uh, we learn from here that the obligation of uh, destroying chametz is before the seven days definitively. Wait, so he's saying it, so that's fine. He's saying it's from Louis Matib So he's saying that certainly you have to destroy it before the onset of the period of seven days where it's usher have it in your house. You have the you have a chiv to destroy it, but also you're not right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. That's a very straight proof that, like, that, uh, you know, I would say, <laughs> I would say that's the proof that Beyond Rishon can't mean uh, on the day of the 15th, that it must mean the day before that because of the Sitzer Blai Rai Blai Matzah. And why, but right, but you still need a proof that it's not the end of the 14th, but it's like the 10th hour. Yes, yeah, so you would still need, that's true, that's true, yeah. Okay. So in order that you can have seven days from the beginning to end, some complete days that uh, Hamid is not found. And it says on the first day, uh, cause the leaven to cease from your houses. Uh, behold, we know that this is on the day of the 14th. Okay, so you would think that it's from the beginning of the day of the 14th. Ilule Amru Ah by Yom Rishon, but then it says Ah, uh, all these Ah, these Ah, you know, Drashos. Uh, ah, you know, Ella mute. Ah is a mute. Ilu Miet Vamar Zesha Marti by Yom Harishon, you know, Mitzchila Tayam, Ella Mi Mixtato. That thing, it's not from the entire 14th day, meaning from the beginning, but rather it's from partway through. Mithlal Haramazim Lazer, Haklal, Hamukuba, Klummer, Shibir Hamit Bimikas. It's interesting. Included in these Ramadim for this is the general principle that we have received, namely that the destruction of Hamid is part way through the 14th. In the statement, do not slaughter over Hamid the blood of my offering. And the, the tradition comes and tells us that this is from the beginning of the seventh hour. So it sounds like he's classifying that drasha in a separate way from like that first, like he first reasoned it out from just the time frames given in the psukim, mm -hmm. right? And then the ach. But then this seems to be like a, a separate type of raya. In other words, the real raya came from working out in the psukim that you just said. This is just an indicator that like it is the right conclusion. Meaning you couldn't, I don't think you could derive it just from this one pasuk. Which is what I think we were trying to do just now, right? Well, doesn't it? It does add extra information uh, about where in the mixtas it is. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, although it is interesting, right? Because can't you bring the pesach from Mincha Gedola? Yeah, but this is from Chatzos, which is a half an hour before. Hmm. Yeah, it's not it's not it's not exactly equal it's not that this lines up exactly with uh, hmm. let's just finish reading this because i'm gonna have to go at exactly 245 today everyone agrees that from the beginning of the six hours uh and that Okay, this is a separate issue. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, even in the in the Ram in the Mishnah Torah. So he says it is Achar Chatzos. I thought it was I thought it was after Mitzvah Gedola. Did we not read that yesterday? Yeah, that's also. Hmm. I don't know why that's us. Okay, you know what? Let's stop for today because he's going to now go into how you do touch and yeah. there's a good starting point. I know that was oh, good. Yeah.
take that out. Well, yes. Yeah. Oh, you mean from the uh, the Hotel thing? Yeah. We'll see. We'll Nothing see about the like the next arena. Continue yeah, we're gonna continue right? tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. In the uh, in Hello. Israel. Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, thanks. You're welcome.